Hello and welcome to another video. Before we begin, if you'd like to see more videos like these, please grab your chainsaw and destroy the subscribe button and the bell button as well, and you'll never miss an upload. So, um, this video is going to be another tactics video based on the Brood Brothers squad. Um, something I overlooked last time, and I won't lie to you, heavily inspired by Mordy and Glory, Glory's video. So if I've got any sense, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, but go to his channel and check out his recent um, Gene Steeler Cult videos, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a very good video, um, and I thought I just wanted to get out some content that was basically very similar. Um, so I hope he likes it. If he's seen it, anyway, let's carry on. So, um, something I overlooked and I possibly hinted at the last time um, is the keywords on here. So, um, hopefully, you should have seen most of my recent videos about the Gene Stoke cult. If you haven't watched the Cult Creeds and the Brood Brothers squad, and then pop back here, I'll give you a second. Right, you're back. Cool, jolly good. So, um, what we're going to have a look now, so this is Brood Brothers Squad, it's effectively an infantry squad, so what you've got is a standard guardsman squad, so not overly um, great, but okay. Um, they've got LAS guns, which strength race are not awesome. So within the Gene Steeler Cult Codex itself, you cannot issue orders, so they're basically a bog standard squad that cannot be issued orders. However, they do have the Cult Ambush Rule and Unquestioning Loyalty, so the Unquestioning Loyalty is okay. Um, but the Cult Ambush is the one we're going to be focusing on today. Today, um, we're going to be talking about some basic tactics that you can do. I say basic, some tactics, yeah. Um, using the Cult Ambush. So what we'll do is just to confirm that we it is a legal thing to do. Not illegal, a legal thing um, currently. Um, when we look on this squat, this part here, this bit of text here does say, uh, I won't go through it all, but it says... You cannot include astronomers or unknown characters. These detachments do not cannot be specialist detachments. So I don't understand whether that is what a specialist detachment is, unless it's from some of the new books that are either coming out or being out. I'm not sure. It says these astromilitarium detachments are known as brood brothers. Detachments and every unit in them has the regiment. This is important, regiment or militarum tempestus keyword must replace it in every instance on its data sheet with brood brothers. If a unit does not uh, if a unit does not have either of these keywords, it simply gains the brood brothers. So you could in fact include Ergrins then. But principally what we're saying is you can take units from the codex and you change the word regiment or militarum tempestus keyword for brood brothers. So every time it says tempestus, you put brood brothers. Sounds simple. So let's go off the Junior Cults Codex. And we will look at the advert. It's rather annoying. Um, go to the Austro Militarum. And we shall have a look at... Not this one. I mean, you can use some of these. But the main one we're currently going to be looking at today. Maybe I should do it properly... HQ section now, so I'll keep going. Yeah, <coughs> obviously not. We're going to be we're not going to be looking at Iron Hans Strachan because he's a um, named character. Tempest Prime is not a named character, so the Tempest Prime <coughs> has a special rule: aerial drop during deployment. You can set up this model in high altitude transport, ready to deploy via grav shoot instead of placing the model on battlefield at the end of any of your movement phases, the model can make an aerial drop. Set it up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than 9 inch away from enemy models. So that's not regiment specific, that is the model specific rule. And here, where it says Militarum Tempestus, we change that to Brood Brothers. Um, and here we go, so it says also Tempestus, com Tempestus, yep, I was right, Command Rod. A model with a Tempestus Command Rod may use the voice of command ability twice in each of the turns, resolve the effects of the first order before issuing a second order. So it's got the Brood Brothers, um, uh, Brood Brothers word, uh, keyword even. It's got the Brood Brothers keyword there. Um, and now we're going to have a look. Oh, it's also got, there we go. This is another important thing. The voice of command rule. 
page 85. Well, that's rather nice of it for telling us, so let's go to page 85, which I'm going to guess is page 86 if we actually check it out. Come on. Yep, 86. Come on. Why is it loading really slow today? Voice of command. The units may issue one order per turn to soldiers under their command at the start of their shooting phase. Orders may be issued to infantry units within six inches of that unit that have the same regiment or Brood Brothers keyword as this unit. So issue an order, pick a target and choose which order you wish to issue from the table below. A unit may only be affected by one order per turn, which there is things within the Astromal Term Codex. However, you can't use them because they are regiment specific, but you can use this, the vanilla um, orders and you can basically issue one order to each unit. So the take aim, uh, we, we won't go over them too much, right? But the, the big ones here are probably take aim, re-rolling hits to one. Um, the one we're going to be mainly looking at is the first rank, second fire, second rank fire. All las guns and hot shot las guns in the ordered unit change their type to rapid fire too. Needless to say, if you can deep strike within nine inches with your Tempest Prime, and you can do that uh, before, just outside of nine inches, I should say, and with the Brood Brother Infantry Squad, you can deep strike within 12 inches, beyond 9 inches of the unit. You can definitely get rapid rapid fire too, so you'll make 4 shots with each las gun. So, let's have a look. The Bring It Down one is also re-roll, 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 wound rolls, good golly gosh, uh, of 1 for all models in the ordered unit until the end of that phase. There's others and stuff, so that's kind of good. You can make them fight again, which is cool. But the main ones we're going to be looking at for the main tactic today will be the first rank, second rank fire. So, I've kind of given it away a little bit there, but I'll be telling you a little bit more in depth what I was going to say. It says, yep, so the inventory, as long as within six inches, which is easily done. Um, you can deep strike, effect it. We're calling it deep strike, but it's aerial drop and um, we call it ambush roll. But effectively, it's the old school deep strike rule. So, let's have a look back at the Brood Brothers. I think that's probably the best thing to look at. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Come along. Hurry up. Right. Go away. Thank you. Wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the um, internet, basically. We'll have a look at the points, which is right at the bottom, pretty much. There we go. Boom. A... Brood Brothers Infantry Squad is four points each guy. So if you have a 10 man squad, you have 40 points. If you have a 20 man blob, which you actually can do, it will be 80 points. So that'll be with no upgrades, just your bog standard, because las guns, las pistols, chainsaws, and I think frag grenades are all zero points. Um, <clears throat> that will be 80 points. What you could do. The Tempest of Prime can issue one order. You can give him the Command Rod, which is just a standard item. It's not a regiment-specific item. You can give him two orders. So what you could do is you could take two squads of 20, which would be, what, 160 points for, for 40 guys, plus your... Let's have a look. I'm sure I did the points on this one. Where are we hiding? The Tempest of Prime with a Command Rod is 45 points. So the total um, is 205 points. Unless I've done my maths wrong, please correct me. Um, it isn't my strong point, but I did get a calculator out and I could have pressed all the buttons in the wrong order. So, you know, let me know. Because um, obviously it's not just for me, this video is for you guys. Um, and, I, you know, I'd like to know if I'm wrong. So, what does that allow us for 205 points? Which... Is, uh, for, for what, 41 models is fairly decent. You can spend a lot more on a lot less. What do you get? You get the ability to issue orders. You get a deep strike, two, well, three deep striking units, which can end within 12 inches, which is in within a rapid fire um, range. And, and 
you can issue them the first rank, second rank fire order, which effectively, as I've worked it out, which I could be wrong, um, f- pair 20 man squad is 77 shots. And again, if I've, if I've done it wrong, it'd be 154 shots from two units, ignoring the whatever you can maybe throw a frag grenade with your um, Tempesta. But you could, in fact, throw the... Um, no, 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 shut up, Nicholas. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Um, you basically get um, 154 shots within within rapid within rapid fire range, basically. So it's a lot of shots. So obviously you're going to be hitting 50% of the time. So we're probably going to see it go back to 77 hits. However, and roughly about a third of them are going to wound. So it's probably going to be averaging out just over 30 wounds on any unit that you want. So if you've got a unit with a 4-up save, 15 are going to die, roughly. If it's just just more than that, it's probably going to be teetering on 8 to 10 wounds. Um, I'm going to guess again, so correct me. People who are better at Math Hammer than I am, let me know. If it's 2 plus saves, you're probably going to get a lot less, but still, if it's a lot worse saves, so you're going against Orc Boys, you're probably going to get about 20 dead models or something from that unit there. And obviously these guys can... Um, move around um, independently and you could order them to run in the next turn so they can be halfway up the board as well which is pretty sick in my opinion so what you're getting for your um, bang for your buck is a lot of firepower um, in a region so obviously you'd probably go mainly up against infantry um, unless you want to go into combat um, you could tie down a big unit um, for a little bit or at least slow them down is an impressive speed bomb with some good firepower in my opinion. We're going to have a quick look just for the picture, just to see the pretty pictures of the Brood Brother Infantry Squad. So, effectively, these guys are now better than a standard Guardsman Squad. 